Hey, what's happening, everybody? I wanted to make a quick video showing you all how to use your Google Assistant. I'm making this video because I've had a lot of people tell me lately that Google Assistant doesn't do that much, and I think it does quite a bit. So anyway, here it goes. So as you can see, I have a Google Assistant app on my phone right here, and this phone is an S24 Ultra, uh, but all this stuff basically works. Like, say you have a Google Pixel 8, or say you have an S23 Ultra, anyway, this will all work the same. All right, so with this S24 Ultra, you can either swipe up from the corner or you can tap on your Google Assistant app. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on this Google Assistant app. Now I'm going to tap on the keyboard like you see me do. And in my clipboard, I already have this loaded up here. I'm going to paste and it says, what can you do? Tap, what can you do? And you all can do this. I like for you all to do this, actually. You come over here and you, it'll give you a list of some things that it can do. All right, you'll see all this stuff right here. And depending on what you wanted to do and depending on what you find useful, that's what you can tap on. But this is just basically me showing you what your Google Assistant is basically capable of. Just showing you some features here, okay? Now next, you're going to see your profile picture in the top right. Tap on that. Now this is where you find all of your Google Assistant settings. And this is actually quite handy. Um, so you just come through here. You know, you can get your personal results. Um, you know, you can adjust your Hey Google sensitivity, <laughs> your accessibility, your account. Hopefully I didn't set off all of your uh, Google stuff as well. Your accessibility, your accounts, assistant voice and sounds, which is pretty cool. They got some different stuff. Your at a glance widget, which is really awesome. This will let you, lets the assistant surface contextual information without you even asking, which comes in crazy handy. Uh, select the default cal calendar for your assistant. So you can see all of these things that are going on right here. I recommend that you engage continued conversation. That's really, really awesome. All right, and you got all that right here. You can actually pick between Gemini and the assistant. I recommend you stick with the Google Assistant. All right, so I'm just showing you all exactly what this thing can do. Uh, here you have your general settings. So... What I would like for you all to do is follow the instructions that I just showed you and go through all of this right here and basically adjust it to your, you know, to what you wanted to do to your heart's desire. I guess you want to say that, but, uh, and the shopping list is amazing. So your Google assistant will actually say you tell it to put something on your shopping list. It'll actually send it to your Google keep shopping list, which is crazy, crazy helpful. For those of you that are following stocks, you got that right there. Tasks, that like I said, to me, this, to me, the Google Assistant is still crazy and insanely useful. Well, all right, everybody, that's going to be it for this one. Like I said, follow the instructions and learn how to use this thing. It's actually very intuitive and it's not that hard to figure out. Take care.